Hi, I'm Brad with uh, Fenter Cranes. So in this video, we're going to focus on the provincial OHS regulations for overhead cranes and hoists in Ontario, Saskatchewan, Alberta, and Manitoba. Uh, we work across all these provinces, so I'm going to cover all of them. Uh, while CSAB 167 provides a technical standard for inspection and maintenance, each province also enforces its own OHS rules that uh, facilities must follow. Uh, this is a province by province overview to help trainers, operators and maintenance personnel understand the legal requirements where they work. So let's begin with Ontario OHS Act and Regulations. Uh, in Ontario, overhead cranes and horse, hoists fall under the Occupational Health and Safety Act and several regulations. So Regulation 851, uh, Industrial Establishments, requires that lifting devices, including overhead traveling cranes, are constructed, maintained and inspected to ensure they can perform safely. A logbook must be maintained for inspections, maintenance and modifications. Uh, these records must be available to operators and inspectors. Uh, employers must ensure the crane is inspected in accordance with CSA B167 and that operators are trained and competent. So a key takeaway, uh, in Ontario overhead cranes must have a logbook, follow CSA inspection and maintenance intervals and all activities must be documented. Right, let's have a look at Saskatchewan OHS regulations uh, 2020. In Saskatchewan Part 13 of OHS regulations, specifically adopt CSA B167 16 for overhead cranes, gantry cranes, monorails, hoists, and trolleys. Uh, that means CSA is the law in Saskatchewan. If you follow CSA C uh, B167 for your inspections, logbooks, and maintenance, you are meeting the provincial's uh, requirements. So key takeaway, in Saskatchewan, compliance with CSA B167 equals compliance with OHS law. Uh, Alberta OHS uh, Code Part 6. In Alberta, overhead cranes and hoists are regulated under the OHS Code Part 6, cranes, hoist and lifting devices. Uh, the highlights include overhead cranes must comply with CSA B167 for inspection and maintenance. Electrical systems must meet the Canadian Electrical Code. And the code requires safeguards such as end stops, sweep, uh, sweep guards, and limiting devices to prevent unsafe, unsafe travel. Uh, brakes, controls, hoists, ropes, or chains, and safety devices must be maintained to CSA and manufacturer specifications. So, key takeaways Alberta requires CSA compliance, but also specifies additional safeguards for overhead cranes such as positive stops and guards. Right, uh, let's take a look at Manitoba Workplace Safety and Health Regulation. In Manitoba, overhead cranes and hoists are covered by the Workplace Safety and Health Regulation. Uh, it states employers must establish safe work procedures for crane use, ensure only trained and competent personnel operate and maintain cranes, and comply with CSA B167 and other lifting device standards. So key takeaway, Manitoba puts responsibility on the employer to combine CSA compliance with safe work procedures and worker training. A summary and takeaway, uh, what does this all mean in practice, right? So in Ontario, uh, logbook required, CSA inspections mandatory, records must be accessible. Saskatchewan, uh, CSA B167 adopted directly as law. Alberta, CSA B167 applies plus safeguards like end stop, sweep guards and limiting devices, right? Those are all actually covered under CSA B167. Manitoba, CSA compliance plus employer developed safe work procedures and training, right? The common theme, CSA B167 is the foundation and each province either adopts it directly or adds specific duties around record keeping, procedures and safeguards. So here at Fender Cranes, our training and inspection programs are built to align with CSA B167 as well as provincial OHS laws in Ontario, Saskatchewan, Alberta and Manitoba, right? So you get a fully comprehensive uh, uh, program and even inspections out of us. Uh, this way, your staff are trained not only in the technical standards, but also in their legal responsibilities. Um, and uh, once again, all our training and information videos are available free of charge on our YouTube channel, Fenter Cranes. So subscribe to stay up to date because as regulations change, we'll update this training so it remains a reliable source for overhead crane and hoist safety. Um, my name is Bradley Sliedrick. I am the president of Fenter Cranes. I have also been a crane service technician since uh, 1996. I'm a journeyman millwright and a journeyman uh, electrician. 
I'm also a, a qualified uh, overhead crane trainer, um, as well as a CWB welding supervisor and other qualifications I have. And so thanks for joining me and I'll see you in the next video.